Yo, what's up? Here I am, and guess what? We got Eminem dropping on Doomsday Part 2. And since it came out last night, I figured, you know what? Eminem ain't did nothing in a while. I ain't did an Eminem, an Eminem song in a while. So guess what? Time to catch these goddamn bars. So let's go. All right, we got Doomsday Part 2 featuring Eminem off the Lyrical Lemonade. Let's go, Em, and since this is a short song, I bet you it's bar heavy, and he probably got all kinds of hidden shit in there, so we're going to catch them all, or as many as we can. All right, y'all ready to catch these bars? Let's go. <laughs> So right off the bat, he got the beat from Role Model. So it's a slowed down version of the song Role Model that he had. It'd be just like me. So slow down version of Role Model, Eminem. So let's go. Let's get it. Yeah. A little under the weather. Fuck it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. First, I'm a shredder. Verse like I had a personal vendetta. Yeah. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do before y'all get all crazy and shit like that. Everybody know when Eminem sit here and do shit, you got to catch everything because nothing he writes is just by happenstance. Meaning, he just don't be writing, just be writing. Sometimes it's always a code within the code within the code. So, this is a full breakdown. Meaning, I'm going to pause the hell out this goddamn thing and make sure we all understand what the man is saying. All right? So, before y'all get off, man. Man, you paused it too much. Well, go watch the damn song yourself. Or go watch another reactor just bob his head to it. I don't care. Full breakdown. Let's go. Yo. First, I'm a shredder. What? Verse like I had a personal vendetta. Yeah. Words come together like birds of a feather. What? So I need a walker like Herschel. I'm better than all. Okay. All right, let's start it off. Okay, first, I'm a shredder. Verse like I had a personal vendetta. Okay, here's go. First, I'm a shredder. Next thing you know, I'm going to shred a verse like a personal vendetta. So first I'm a shredder, not to mention, he's probably saying first I'm a shredder, I'm a shredder. I cut anybody up. First I'm a shredder. Then first I'm a shredder, I'm a shredder verse, like I had a personal vendetta, like I'm angry at the verse. So I'm a shredder, I cut up shit, and I'm a shred this verse up like I'm pissed off at it. All right, words come together like birds of a feather, what they always say, birds of a feather flock together. All right, words come together like birds of a feather, they go together. All my words go together, so, hey, words go together like birds of a feather, right? Then, Tanita Walker, like Herschel, I'm better. All right, till I'm old and gray, I need a walker. Next, you got the football player, one of the greatest running backs ever, Herschel Walker. Then, you got Herschel from The Walking Dead, who actually turned into a walker after getting his ass cut up. But... You got Herschel from Walking Dead. You got Herschel Walker, the football player. And to hell, I need a walker like, like Herschel. Herschel's last name is Walker. So I need a walker like Herschel, his last name. So you got a lot going on already within that first nice little two bars. I'm better because this react is better. The best at reaction bars. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Need a walker like Herschel, I'm better than all of you fucking little twerks put together. But I'm not yeah. trying to be controversial, I'd rather. So, I'm better than all you little fucking twerks put together. Anybody. Anybody. I'm better than anybody put together, but I'm not trying to be controversial. All right, let's go. But I'm not trying to be controversial, I'd rather. Talk about shit with the purpose that matters. Like who had the second best verse on forever. Damn. Oh, wow. But I'm not trying to be controversial. I'm going to talk about shit with a purpose that matters. So, Marshall matters with a purpose that matters. So, Marshall matters. If you really think about that, he's saying it really fast. And, who like, who had the second best verse on Forever? Eminem, Lil Wayne, there was Drake, and there was Kanye, right? So, he's basically saying who had the second best verse. I'm probably number one, or maybe I was number two. But, is it between him and Lil Wayne? So, who had the second best verse, him or Wayne? Or he may saying, from the beginning, I'm better than all your little twerks put together. So, him, Wayne, Drake, Kanye, all you fucking little twerks put together. It's not a shot, not a diss. It's just a nice little dab 
Then all you fucking tourists be dead by not talking about controversial. I'd rather talk about shit with the purpose that matters. Like who had the second best verse on forever? So if you look at it, go back to the first. I'm better. So he's probably saying I'm number one. Okay, now who had number two? So you look at it from the back to the front. Who had a verse on forever? And then go to the front of that two-bar scheme. I'm better. So, hey, there you go. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Not trying to be controversial, but I'll go there. Let's go. It's like who had the second best verse on forever? Damn. Now I got a riddle. What? One condition, you mustn't laugh. Okay. What is the opposite of Benzino? Uh, what? A giraffe. Uh -huh. Go with his neck. How the fuck is that? Yeah. How can I go with something he doesn't have? Okay. Now, let's go with that. Okay. Now, let's start off with the giraffe thing, right? So, uh, let's back it up. Okay. Let's start with the rook. What condition you must laugh? What's the opposite of Brazino? Huh, a giraffe. Now, they did an interview with Eminem on, I think it, what, Not Afraid. They asked Eminem, what are you scared of? He's like, uh, a giraffe. So, now I got a riddle. What condition you must laugh? What's the opposite of Brazino? What? A giraffe. I'm not scared of Brazino. I'm scared of the giraffe. That's what he's saying, because like he said, that dry sense of humor he got, he said he's scared of a giraffe on that song, Not Afraid. So he's saying, I'm not afraid of Benzino, I'm afraid of a giraffe. What's the opposite of Benzino? What's the opposite of something I'm scared of? Not Benzino, a giraffe. Right? Man. A giraffe. Go at his neck. How now, go at his neck. How? The fuck is that? Now, what they always say in the rap battle scene, or if you're arguing, I'm about to go at somebody's neck. Well, he's saying, hell, I can't go at Benzino's neck because he don't have one. How can I go at someone that doesn't have? So when he said, I'm going at his neck. But he's also saying Benzino don't have a neck because, you know, he's short, stout. How can I go at something he doesn't have? So doubles and triples and doubles. Man, I swear, M brings that heat. He brings that smoke. All right, let's go, bro. Yeah, I'm catching these bars. Come on, man. Can y'all do it? You know damn well the can can do it, baby. We face famous. Let's go. What? A giraffe. Uh -huh. Go with his neck. How the fuck is that? Yeah. How can I go with something he doesn't have? Uh -huh. Arms so short he can't even touch his hands. When they're up above his head doing jumping jacks. Wow. Sorry, I don't mean. Arms so short he can't touch his hands. So basically he's saying when they're above his head doing jumping jacks, he can't touch it because he's so stout and muscular. He can't even touch And they're so short. So when they're up above his head doing jumping jacks. Ah, uh, let's go. All right, then Jax. Sorry, I don't mean to upset you, Ben. When I talk about all the debt you win, I hear that you've been creeping on the low when them cheap hotels that they catch you in. Jesus Christ, dog, when you said you ten, never guessed you meant at the Red Wolf Inn. Oh, okay. There's a lot that goes on to this Red Roof Inn thing, too, right? All right. So, sorry. I didn't mean to upset you, Ben. So he's already talking shit. I didn't mean to make you mad. Remember that song he got? Remember that song Eminem got? I only say that to get you mad. All right. So then he said, when I talk about all the debt you could Ben Zeno's like five million something shit they owe to the IRS. He's in debt and shit. But I hear that you've been creeping on the low in them cheap hotels that they catch you in. Jesus Christ, dog. When you said to 10, never guess you meant at the Red Roof Inn. Okay. So now what he's saying is you in debt. You owe five something million to the IRS, right? Then creeping on the low because he was with his boy. I can't think of his name though, but he was with, but Benzino was with his homeboy. There's a video on him on YouTube. Benzino got caught at the hotel with his boy. The police came, right? Walked up in there. Benzino's boy's in the shower. Benzino talking about, you know, he was talking about he was homeless. He had to stay at a hotel. He ain't got no money, blah, 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 right? Then he said, when you said 210, well, Benzino then was supposed to check out at 11 or some shit, 11 to 12 o'clock. Well, Benzino didn't get out of there till 2. So when you said 210, now, 210, okay, I'll leave in 10 minutes. I'll leave in 10 minutes. 210. You know, when you said 210, never guessed, it. you meant the red roof in. Now, also, 210, you know, when you're about to fight somebody, man, meet me at 3 o'clock, meet me at 310, meet me at 210. So, Talking about Red Roof Inn, meet him there. He said, I never thought you meant at the Red Roof Inn. Meet me meet me at the Red Roof Inn. That's what Eminem's saying that Benzino told me. Meet me at the Red Roof Inn. I never thought at the Red Roof Inn. The Red Roof Inn is cool. It's, it's cool. It ain't that damn cheap. But, you know, but that's what he's talking about, right? So, summing up, you in debt. You creeping with your own boy. And then on video, Benzino was talking about, well, if we was a white couple. What? 
But Benzino on Vlad TV talking about, nah, man, I ain't no damn couple, man. Nah, I ain't mean like, yeah, bro, you mean it like that. Why would you say couple? Why would that be your go-to? Why, If you ain't that, why would you say couple? Hey, man, you went, like, now, if you want to go the white route, you can say you wouldn't do white people like this, right? That's what you'll say. But you say you wouldn't do a white couple like this. Couple, Ben, ah, come on, man. But you want me, but you want me Eminem at 210? Yeah. <laughs> Nah, not there, bro. Let's go. More bars. When them cheapo tells that they catch you in. Jesus Christ, dog. When you said you ten, never guess you meant. At the Red Wolf Inn, in a room with one single bed to men. Shady, man, you can. Yes, you can. Man. In a room, one single bed, two men. Come on, man. Now, he says it so fast, and I like Eminem's rhyme style. It's almost like a... You know, if you tap, it's almost like a like a drum, like a percussion. And he's doing it on the count of three. Most rappers, when you do a bar, one, two, three, four. Eminem's hitting all his so far. One, two, three. Next, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's how he's hitting it. So he's hitting it like that. If you really pay attention to how bar and song structure is, the Microchrome is normally on the measure of four. Eminem his, hitting his on this song in the measure of three. But, like you said, in the room, one single bed, two men. What? Shady man, you can't. Yes, I, yes you can. Two men. Come on, man. Shady man, you can't. Yes, you can. Let's go. With one single bed to men, shady man, you can. Yes, you can. Well, I guess then I regret to win for him. You hate to spoil a day, but this time. So, okay, this part right here. Well, I guess that I regret to win for him. You regret to win. It's almost like saying when I regret to win. It's almost like saying I regret to win. Well, I guess I regret to win for him and you. So it's almost like saying well, I regret to win. I regret to win because the T-W-O-I-N, to win, regret to win. So I regret to win, form you, hate to spoil the day. So it's almost like saying inform, great to inform you, inform. I think he's saying, if, if he's saying what well, I think he's saying, there's another way he's saying this too. Form you hate to spoil a day, what? but this doesn't regret to win, form you hate to spoil a day. Inform you. I regret to inform you. Oh, okay. So it might be saying I regret to win and regret to inform you. Hate to spoil the day. Form you, hate to spoil the day. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So form you, hate to spoil the day. Basically, I'm about to piss you off. I'm about to make your day bad. Let's go. Hey man, you can. Yes, you can. Well, I guess then I regret to win. Form you, hate to spoil the day. But this doesn't bring me no joy. Oh. Okay, I regret to, regret to win, form you. So he basically saying, he basically, it's almost like saying, I regret to win. And then when he's saying, form you, I regret to inform, like inform. So I regret to inform you, hate to spoil the day. So basically saying, I regret to inform you, hate to spoil the day. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I got you. I got you. So I regret I regret to win and I regret to and I regret to inform you hate to spoil the day. Oh, nice double. Nice double. Could be reaching, but that's what it do sound like with that inform you cuz like you said anything he does is not accident. It's on purpose how he pronounces some of his words and he connects the ending and the beginning of another word to make a whole new punchline. So that's what I'm saying. With that inform you, there's a reason why he said it that way. So it does sound like he's saying, I regret to win and I regret to inform you hate to spoil the day and inform you hate to spoil the day. Gotcha. Gotcha, M. I got you. Let's go. Bars. Come on. Yes, you can. Well, I guess then I regret to win for him. You hate to spoil a day. What? But this doesn't bring me no joy to say. Uh, guess that coiler rate beats in the toilet. Eh? God. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So here, here's a lot to this too, right? Okay, but this doesn't bring me joy to say. Guess coiler rate beats in the toilet, eh? So, coiler rate one have a feature with Eminem, right? 
Benzino really wasn't pleased with Coyle Ray wanting to do a feature with M. Coyle Ray says, hey, between them two, it's between them. I'm not on nobody's side. Plus, he was also saying that, that beef is in the dirt. It's whatever it is, right? But, but Coyle Ray is also in a video with Trippy Red, her ex-boyfriend. She was featured in the bathroom while Trippy Red was on the toilet taking a shit, right? So, what did they call a bathroom? The bathroom, the John, the restroom. Hey, I mean, I got to go to the toilet, blah, blah, blah. That Coyle Ray feature in the toilet. Hey, her feature, her being in the video of Trippy Red taking a shit. That Coyle Ray feature in the toilet, eh? Her feature, her featuring herself in the video with Trippy Red taking a shit. So, her, her feature was in the toilet. It was in the bathroom already with Trippy Red. It's like a 50 second or 40 second video, something like that. So, next, Trippy Red also has. Now, this is by proxy. Trippy Red also has a song called Toilet Water. So, just to put that out there, too. And next, Eminem is saying, well, shit, since I'm going at your daddy, I guess me and Coyle Ray, she ain't going to be featuring on my song. So, you got the feature of Coyle Ray in the bathroom with Trippy Red while he's in there taking the shit. Then you got the feature that ain't going to happen because I went at Benzino. She ain't going to be featured on my song. Trippy Red also just happens to have a song called Toilet Water. So, there we go. I guess that Coyle Ray features in the toilet, eh? So, now of course, they call the bathroom a toilet. The toilet, the john, the bathroom, the restroom, the washroom. So, there you go. There's another one, M. Let's go. It's spoiler day, but this doesn't bring me no joy to say. Guess that Coyle Ray feeds in the toilet, eh? God damn it. Damn it, dude. With the toilet flushing. Okay. Gotcha, because Trippy Red did flex the toilet too. Let's go. They got yeah. Damage due to flows, collateral, I suppose. Got pointed like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose. Get him. All right, damage due to flows and toilet A. Damage due to flows, meaning that collateral. Benzino, you went at my daughter, I'm going at your daughter. So now we got collateral damage. So I suppose got pointed like mine, like Sandra Bullock's nose, because Eminem and Sandra Bullock, Sandra Bullock got a pointy nose. So plus, like you point to Gat. You know, Gat pointed, and of course, of course, the gun, the Gat, Gatling gun, too. Let's go. Lateral, I suppose. Gat pointed like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose. Get him bullet holes. Have you full of those? And I suppose, I suppose, I S P O S E, I suppose. Pose like I'm poison. I'm like a pose. Pose. Gat pointed like mine. I pose. Uh, I like that. Collateral, I suppose. Boom, got pointed like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose. So I suppose, but I suppose. I mean, some people, when they shorten up the word suppose, they say I, po I suppose. But he said I pose. Got pointed like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose. I pose, got pointed like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose. So I pose with the gat, and my nose is pointed like me and Sandra Bullock. Okay, got it. Got it. And, of course, you got the collateral damage. Nice. And, well, look, let's take it back. Let's take it back. Let's see how he says collapse. Like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose. Wow. Get in bullet holes. Yeah. Have you full of oh, those? Oh, yeah. Yeah. In the toilet, eh? God damn it. Damage due to flows. Collateral, I suppose. Pole. Lateral. Well, you got lateral. Lateral, I pose. Lateral, I pose. Got pointed like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose. Lateral. Lateral, I pose. Okay, gotcha. Let's go. Damage due to flows, collateral, I suppose. Got pointed like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose. Get in bullet holes, yeah. have you full of those. You'll catch a stray like animal control. Plan a funeral, I'ma probably have to plan a funeral. Yeah. Logical exams, once again, it is off into the dam. Had it through my go. Like okay, now, you get, whew, it goes even deeper than that. Let's go. Okay, so, yeah, them bullet holes, have you full of those. Yeah, you'll catch a stray like animal control. Plan a funeral. I'm probably have to plan a funeral, neurological exam. So yeah, them bullet holes have you full of those. Okay, you catch a stray like animal control. Okay, now let's talk, let's start with the stray part. That's easy. You catch a stray, meaning you know you'll catch a stray. Could be with coil array. You catch a stray. Hey, it happens. Like you said, collateral, I suppose. You know, got pointed like mindset. So you catch a stray, Coyle Ray. Then, like you catch a stray animal, a dog, and 
you'll catch a stray like bullets. But when it comes to Benzino, Benzino also was at his mama's funeral. Well, Benzino was leaving that funeral and his nephew shot at Benzino. Collateral damage, full of bullet holes. Now, Benzino didn't get killed, obviously, and, you know, he wasn't seriously injured like that. But his nephew, so if you go down to, I'll probably have to plan a funeral, plan a funeral, because his nephew tried rolling up on Benzino. Benzino's own nephew tried rolling up on him at his mama's funeral. Then, plan a few, I'm going to have to plan a few, neurological. So, basically, Eminem saying to that next bar, I'm going to have to plan a neurological exam, right? But plan a few. So, like you said, I had to plan a few hits, right? Like, you know how Eminem had to plan a few hits on people. So, had to plan a few hits. And, once again, he took the last word. Plan a few, neuro nephew. Plan a few. The plan a few, plan nephew. Plan a few neurological exams. Because Benzino's nephew is the one that shot him at him at the funeral. So listen again. Lit holes, yeah. have you full of those? Yeah. You'll catch a stray like animal control. Plan a funeral. I'ma probably have to plan a funeral. Logical exams. See, have had to plan a funeral. Plan nephew. A roll. Nephew rolled on him. So you're saying have to plan nephew rolled on him. Plan a few roll. Neurological. Oh god, yeah, with the bars. Let's go. Like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose. Yeah. Head and bullet holes. Yeah. Have you full of those? Yeah. You'll catch a stray like animal control. Yeah. Plan yeah. a funeral. Yeah. I'ma probably have to plan a funeral. Logical exams. Once again, it is off into the damn padded room. So like you said, plan the few. Plan the few. The nephew shot at Benzino. Plan a funeral because you got shot at your mommy's funeral. So plan a funeral. Catching strays, collateral damage. You shot at Benzino's car limo wherever he was in his nephew did so there you go then like eminem saying had to plan a few neurological exams. once again once again in the pattern because you know eminem i think he has an album cover and he's in a straight jacket too i think or a song or something like that he's in the padded room so there you go eminem with the bar we have to plan a funeral logical exams once again it and is like off into that damn padded room i go right toward the outside Lum at a psych ward because I strangled you with a mic cord because my fucking mind's more than I'm on my Pegasus. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go again. With a mic cord because my fucking mind's oh, more back than I'm on my go. Let me back it up. Let me back it up. It's we got bars to catch, man. We got bars to catch. Exams. Once again, it is off into the damn padded room I go. Now, where did they call padded room? The psych ward. So we need a psych ward or an asylum. They called it the padded room. Right toward the asylum of the site. Right toward the asylum. Right toward the s asylum. So he's pronouncing his words again. There's a reason why he said it. Let's see. Into the damn padded room I go. Right toward the asylum of the site ward because. Uh, right toward the asylum. So that loan could be money. Right toward the asylum. Lum. Let's go. Lump sum. Lump. Let's get it. I may be reaching there. It could be a reach, but you said a sigh. Lump. Let's go. Once again, it is off into the damn padded room. I go right toward the sigh. Lump at a sight ward because I strangled you with a mic cord because my. You know what? Right toward the sigh. Lump or the sigh ward. So, of course, the asylum. The great Arkham Asylum, think where the Joker and Penguin, all of them's at, you know, Arkham Asylum. So that the crazy house mental institution or the psych ward, the psych the psychological ward. So he go right there, right toward the asylum. So. I sigh, lum. Because I strangled you with a mic cord because my fucking mind's more than I'm on my Pegasus, my high horse and I'm fly. Yeah. Bitch, I soar like a sty. Man, even in that one. Okay, I'm on my I'm on my what? Pegasus. What's the Pegasus? The wing horse. I'm on my Pegasus, my high horse. So he says right after that, I'm on my Pegasus, my high horse. My moral high horse. I'm above you. I'm I'm a, always be right. You always gonna be wrong. So I'm gonna be on my high horse and tell you what's right and what's wrong. And I'm fly because I'm on that high horse. I'm on my Pegasus. I'm fly. Bitch, I soar like a sigh. So what I soar like a sty. A sty is a, a is like an infection or something that gets in your eye. 
bitch, I saw it. I soar like a sty, meaning I'm soaring on my Pegasus, and I soar like a sty, so there's a double. So he got the sty on the eye, and I soar like a sty. So he got the double going on, on his Pegasus, his horse with wings. Let's go. If you think of My Little Pony, those are all Pegasus, because they all go fly. Think of that. My Little Pony, um, um, Perseus was on the Pegasus and Clash of the Titans and all that. So think of Clash of the Titans and all that. He's on the Pegasus trying to take out the Kraken. So I'm on my Pegasus, my high horse. So he could be on his Pegasus, high horse, about to take out the freaking Kraken, which be Benzino. So, bitch, I soar like a sty. And plus, I'm fly. I'm fresh. I'm fit. I'm fly. I'm fly, bitch. I soar like a sty. So he got all that up in there too. Let's go. Thanks more, but I'm on my Pegasus, my high horse, and I'm fly. Yeah. Bitch, I soar like a sty. You probably feel like you're gonna die. Yeah. Cause you're in my morgue and you're tight up. So yeah. So I'm on my Pegasus, my high horse. I'm fly, bitch. I soar like a sty. You probably feel like you're gonna die. Because what, like I say, is on the Pegasus about to take out the Kraken. So you probably feel like you're gonna die. There you go. Let's go, M. Let's go, M. Bar. Bitch, I soar like a sty. You probably feel like you're gonna die. Cause you're in my morgue and you're tight up like a tight score, and that's why. So they say you feel like you're gonna die cause you're in my morgue. My morgue, and you're tied up like a tight score. 10, 10, 20, 20. You know, when in a in a, any sports game or any game, you're tied up. It's a or it's a tight score, 23, 21. It's a tight score. So you're tied up, but you're tied up, wrist up, or body, or however you tied him up. But he's tied up. Let's go. Or it could be tied up. You're busy right now. So let's go. You probably feel like you're gonna die. Cause you're in my morgue and you're tight up like a tight score. And that's why I'm back with Cole Bennett. And I've been at the level J Cole Bennett. It's and I'm back with Cole Bennett, the guy who does all the videos. And I'm at the level of J Cole Bennett. So J Cole Bennett goat status, as they say. I don't believe it. But J Cole Bennett goat status. So he said, I, and I've been at the level J Cole Bennett goat status at the top. Let's just say that at the top. I wouldn't say goat stats for J. Cole, but Eminem been at the top, though. I've been at the top. Let's go. No! Let's go back to the song. My bad. My bad. My bad. We're about to get right on back to it. That thing was in the way. Y'all see it. Let's go. And that's why I'm back with Cole Bennett And I've been at the level J. Cole Bennett It's aftermath that I ride for till I die and it's aftermath. So aftermath, the record label he was on, and it's aftermath the, and it's aftermath like the destruction of everything is aftermath that I ride for. I ride to destroy stuff, and I ride for aftermath. The record label, Dr. Dre, him, Fifty Cent, all that is aftermath that I ride for. I ride for destruction and the aftermath, and my record label till I die. Bam, Eminem, there go Eminem, a nice little one minute 50 song, but we, I think I didn't caught them all. We got them bars, boy. Eminem, once again, does not do anything. The only thing I'm probably tripped up at is when he said right toward the asylum. Right now, I could do a recap of something that, that kind of caught my attention real quick. So I'm going to let y'all know this one part here. Let's see what y'all think about this. Because I'm I'm thinking I'm hearing something and it might not be there. But y'all may think something is there too. So let's listen to this real quick. Because this kind of got me in the brain when I first when I first heard this. Let's go. Jesus Christ, dog. When you said you ten, wow. never guessed you meant at the Red Wolf in in a room with one single bed to men. Wow. Shady man, you can't. So it's almost like in a in a room, single bed to men. So it's almost like saying bet to men. Better men, single room, better men. So that's kind of what it sounded like to me when he said that. So I'm kind of thinking something might be there or it might not in a single room. In, yeah, in a room with a single bet to men. So it's almost like saying better men. In a room with one single better men. Better man. Let's hear it again. Let's hear that part again. At the Red Wolf in, in the room with one single bed to men. Shady man, you. So in the room, single better men, single better man, 
So I'm just saying, I'm I'm just spitballing here. I'm just guessing. That's kind of what it sounds like. Because Eminem, like I said, he, he can put two words together, make it sound like something else. But, you know, let's go. Boom with one single bet to men. Shady man, you can. Yes, you can. So that part right there, because of that, because of that, I'm thinking something else is there. Shady man, you can't. Shady man, you can't. Hold on. Shady man, you can't. Yes, you can. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We think I'm, I think I may caught something here. Hold on, hold on. Red wolf in, in a room with one single bed to men. Shady man, you can. Yes, you can. Shady man, you can. Yes, you man. Yes, you can. Shady man, you can. Yes, you can. So oh, he might be saying, Shady man, you. So he might be saying, you can't do that. Yes, you can. Shady man, you can. Yes, you can. Huh. And he said, shh. So I almost might, might be saying, you can't put me out there. Yes, you can. So he might be talking to himself like, hey, you can't go there. Or maybe you can. And he might be saying, yes, you can. You can't do that to with another guy. Yes, you can. So he might be talking to himself. Because remember, Shady, Marshall Mathers, and Eminem. So he got three different personas. So he could be talking to himself. Shady, man, you can't. Yes, you can. So it might be his persona that's talking to himself about, you can't do that. Yes, you can. So I'm just saying, I'm spitballing here. There might be some. Let me know what y'all think about that bar right there. In a room, in a room with one single bed, two men. Shady, man, you can't. Yes, you can. So I'm just saying, there's something might be there. But either way it go, that's Eminem, Doomsday 2, off the Lyrical Lemonade uh, album. Cole Bennett, I'm directing the video today. I just did too. Hey, if you like that, let me know. Eminem, I'll break them down. So, it's your boy LeCain, and we're face famous. You see it? We out!